In this video, we will look at how to set up this 4-wire video intercom system. This is the indoor unit with a video display screen. And this is the outdoor unit. It comes with a camera so that when this button is pressed, the camera will be activated and will capture the face of whoever is in front of the camera, which will then be displayed on this monitor on the indoor unit. The connection ports for this device are located behind the device here. And this one also has its connection ports behind here. We'll soon see how these two devices can be connected. Here are provided accessories we'll be using for the connection of the system. So let's now see how the connection goes. So I'll turn over the unit since the connection ports are located behind the units. So we'll start with the connection of the power adapter. It comes with this plug which will be fitted into the indoor unit. As indicated here, we have GND and plus 15V which refers to the power supply to the device. So we'll be connecting the power adapter plug here. So let me plug it. This point will be plugged into a power socket, but we'll hold on with that until we are done with all our connections. The next connection will be done using these connectors. When you check the back of the system here, it is indicated here that the plug with the conductors having green, yellow, blue, black and red colors must be plugged in here. And by that description, between these two cables, this is the cable to be plugged into the indoor unit. So we'll plug it here, push it down well. So obviously, this other cable goes into the outdoor unit. So I'll plug it here. Ensure it sits well. Now that we have done these connections, please remember that this unit will be placed indoors, whilst this one will perhaps be at an entrance. I will use this network cable to connect between the indoor unit and the outdoor unit. But if you are able to get a cable that has the red, blue, black and yellow conductors, that will be good enough to be used for this connection. So by no special convention, I will be connecting the orange pair in the network cable to red on both the indoor unit and the outdoor unit. So I will put them together this way. I will insulate it using my insulation tape. Ensure it is firmly insulated. The other end of the orange pair must also be connected to the red on the outdoor unit in order to have red to red connection from the outdoor unit to the indoor unit. And that is what we'll be doing for all the other conductors get it insulated with the second connection i'll connect the blue pair to the blue on the indoor unit that means that i will have to remember to connect the other end of the blue pair to the blue at the outdoor unit side as well For now, let's finish with the indoor connection so that we'll note the colors and ensure we do the matching at the outdoor unit as well. So I'll connect the green pair in the CAT6 cable to yellow on the indoor unit. Insulate it. and also connect the brown pair 
in the cassis cable to black on the indoor unit. Get it insulated as well. Now at the outdoor unit, we'll replicate the color combinations we did for the indoor unit. So the blue pair will go to the blue at the outdoor unit here. We'll insulate it very well. And then the green pair now goes to yellow, as we did for the indoor side. And the brown pair also goes to black, as we did for the indoor units. We'll insulate it. So we can now turn over the equipment so that we can get them tested. So I'll plug the power adapter now. And so I can now test it by pressing the ring. And you can see the camera shown on the indoor unit at the press of the button. This version of the video intercom system is a basic type where it doesn't give you alerts on your mobile phone. And so in my next video, we'll look at how to set up a more advanced type that you can receive notifications and alerts on your mobile phone. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next video. Thank you so much.